Hello everyone. Uh, today I have uh, for you um, G2 Universe Legacy Evolution Grimlock. This is Grimlock from the Generation 2 Universe. Uh, so basically, um, I have a lot of good hopes for this guy. Uh, I opened him up a few days ago. Uh, he's pretty good. Um, just a few things to say about him. Uh, transformation's not as complex as I thought it was going to be. He's pretty big, uh, but what could you expect? Uh, he's basically, he's just a redo, he's just a repaint. I don't think he's a slight, I think he's a slight remote. I'll have to look again at the Studio Series uh, 86 Grimlock. Because uh, this guy is just a repaint of the Studio, he's a mold twin of the Studio Series 86 Grimlock that we got. I think the only remold or... Uh, remold that he has would be this neck piece here i'm not sure if this translucent neck piece is on the original studio series that could be a re a thing that they did differently so here i have him in um in his t-rex mode i'm gonna go show you guys the paint on him yeah he's pretty it's a pretty i mean it's ugly his paint his paint is actually quite nice but it's it's it is ugly though the paint i mean the blue stripes with the yellow and just the just yellow just bright yellow i mean but this is a generation two universe so i gotta give the painters uh credit because they're they're being accurate so this is actually a very good accurate representation of what it looked like for people who like like g2 i think g2 was kind of cool but the colors were just crazy i mean it was like the 80s so i mean what could you expect it was like 80s 90s around where g2 came out so, I mean, what could you expect? They were into really crazy colors uh, back then. Uh, but here's his, uh, he comes with one accessory, which is his gun, his laser, his double-barreled uh, laser. And you can store the laser in, um, on his back right here. There is somewhere. You can... Yep, right here. There's two tabs, one tab right there, one tab right there. And there's two tabs, insert tabs here, one right here and one right here. You can, for weapon storage. You can insert it here. You can have them like that, with the weapon stored away. You can also detach it, and you can also have his weapon here to give him a little extra bit of firepower when he's like walking in his T-Rex mode, because he can't hold his gun, or I don't know. I'll put his accessory, accessory away for now. And another feature that he has is that when you open his mouth, he has a port, a little black like nod here. And what that's for is that is for a blast effect that you could put. Articulation in dinosaur mode. He can move his head up that much. Move his head up this much down. His mouth can open pretty far. You can turn his head this way. It can actually go a full 360. He has a ball jointed arm and another joint on his uh, elbow joint in T-Rex mode. Tail has no articulation, but what could you say? Would you really expect articulation on a tail this big? Uh, he has a hip joint and a knee joint, and the toes can move a lot too as well. So it's pretty articulated in T-Rex mode. But now let's get him out of T-Rex mode and into robot mode. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna come here to the back and sort of just shimmy this, pry it open a little bit. And you should just pull apart, yep. So this will unhook this way, and these will unhook this way, and you can somewhat fold out what will become of the, or first fold these pieces in, these tail pieces.
now you can more easily fold out what will become the knees or and the legs then the next thing that you want to do is you want to take this blue his chest his uh, underbelly piece or first actually open up this section here open up this section fold the head backwards lift up his head now what you want to do is you want to take this blue section and tab it in yep, tabs in pretty nice then what you want to do is you want to get this uh, yellow piece here into the arm so kind of click it in and then use his second joint as an arm joint and you want to flip his hands out shoulder pieces to get these uh, body pieces away so we can give you maximum articulation then we're gonna work on the legs some more so you want to flip out his heels and then you want to fold in the back of his uh, leg lower legs And here is G2 Universe Legacy Evolution uh, Grimlock in his robot mode. Now, it's a pretty good robot mode. I mean, it, what you, it's taken from the Studio Series, so it's going to be very good. Uh, it's very nice. Uh, here's his uh, weapon. articulation his head is on a ball joint I can rotate a full 360 arms is on a ratchet elbow is on a joint wrist rotation he has another arm joint for a swivel he has waist rotation a hip joint and he could even move his hip this way a knee joint and an ankle pivot and then also another foot pivot for his heel. And his art accessory is on a five millimeter port. I rate this figure as pretty good. Uh, I think I got him for about like $55. That's what most uh, leader classes are selling for nowadays at Walmart. Uh, he's uh, pretty nice. Uh, uh, color scheme is kind of really uh, aggressive to me, but it's uh, nice for what it is. It's a good replica of what it is. Uh, overall details of the action of the figure is very good. Uh, and yeah, I definitely recommend uh, picking up this figure. He's very nice. And I uh, hope you guys uh, like this video. Have a nice day.